What I'm going to share with you today is one of the most fascinating pieces of history that you don't know. Back in 1973, an important and infamous decision was made by the Supreme Court um, called Roe versus Wade. But what many people don't know is the importance of a lady named Norma McCorvey in this process, in this whole legal battle. Norma was white trash, or was considered white trash. She was pregnant, and the abortion movement used Norma McCorvey, who, like a lot of people just out of nowhere, just kind of was duped and went along with it, and, and we're all human. She probably enjoyed the attention and Sometimes you actually believe you're fighting for the right side when you're fighting for evil. And it's called deception. And it's in all of our hearts. And we have to be aware of it and stay attuned to the Bible. But the fascinating thing is that four or five years ago at a used bookstore, I discovered a book called One by Love by Norma McCorvey. Norma McCorvey pseudonym is Jane Rowe. I lived my whole life, 30-something years, 37, 38 years, in a abortion-filled country where we toss babies aside and murder them and ruthlessly and think we're better than our ancestors for some reason, deception, arrogance, pride, avarice, irresponsibility. Um... And, but what most people don't know is that after they had won this major battle, um, Roe versus Wade, Norma McCorvey was kind of shunned because she wasn't good with PR. She wasn't a great, that wasn't her talent. So she just was mouthy and would say whatever, kind of a vulgar and crude woman by her own um, accounting, but years later, she actually ended up working at an abortion clinic in Dallas, Texas, and by the sovereignty of God Almighty, a pro-life center opened up next door, and from my understanding, these were the only two places in the building. I guess that doesn't really matter, and I'm not 100% sure, but that's my understanding a pro-life center trying to save babies and a pro-death center trying to murder them. And the founders, or the, not the founders, but the workers at the pro-life center had two daughters. One of them, a beautiful eight-year-old little girl, if I remember correctly. And this hard, bitter woman's heart was won by love, by the love of this little girl. And Norma admits in her book that she knew in her heart that abortion was wrong. She admitted that, believed she even knew it was murder. But seeing this little girl and getting to know her, and as the police were often called against the pro-lifers for just uh, doing peaceful rallies, and uh, apparently the abortion movement had all the power, even in Texas, you'd kind of think it'd be the opposite in Texas, but or at least I did, but they would call the police and, and uh, repeatedly on the pro-lifers, uh, pro-lifers passing out tracts or trying to talk people out of murdering their baby, which all in all seems like a very noble endeavor. But it was this little girl. It was love. <laughs> It was the love of a little girl and the love of God <laughs> flowing through this little girl who softened this cold, bitter woman's heart. This cold, bitter, hurting woman. <laughs> and through that love, <laughs> she was led to know Jesus. And she was only famous 
for being Jane Doe or Roe. But God saw her all along. And I don't care what you've done. I don't care if you've murdered your baby in one sense. It's terrible, but my sins are terrible too. And they nailed my Savior to the cross. And regardless of what you've done, God loves you. He loves you me. I don't deserve it. <laughs> but this little, I believe, eight-year-old girl won the heart of this hardened, bitter woman, Jane friggin' Rowe, who is actually Norma McCorvey. And she tells her amazing story, amazing, disturbing, beautiful story in this book, Won by Love. And it's hard to understand why everyone, every Christian especially, doesn't know about this. If you don't have a copy and you are for protecting life, please, I'm not trying to sell my own book. I'm not. Go buy this book. Find it on Amazon. I found it at a used bookstore by the by the providence of God. And read her story. Read about the people that one day one of her fellow abortion workers were just so cruel to this little girl and and everything started cracking inside Norma McCorvey. <laughs> Cause the love of Jesus can reach us. I don't care how dark you are. I don't care how disturbed you are. I don't care how hurting you are. God's love is real. That's why everyday people in other countries are dying of the gospel because it's real. We have copies of the Bible because of men like William Tyndale and John Wycliffe. And sometimes I get their names wrong, so forgive me. Maybe it's William Wycliffe, but I think John Wycliffe. But people like that risk everything. <laughs> Martin Luther t translated the Bible into German. 500 years ago, it was a sin for the common people to have the Bible. <laughs> and it's we have this precious book. <laughs> our hands every day. But how often do we read it? How often do we let it read us? It changes. Love changes everything. Real love. Not crappy fake love. Not patting you around the head and telling you're okay it's a, in your sin and your depravity and your deception. And all of us are lost without Christ. But God saved Norma McCorvey. And God saved Jane Roe. And for the rest of her life, she was pro-life. She fought for the lives of babies and regretted her decisions. But no one knows this story. Because it's not a big conspiracy. It's obvious that it's suppressed. Please go get this book and please hold your Bible to your chest and thank God that we have a copy of it in our own language today because men and women <laughs> paid the price <laughs> so that we could know the truth and Jesus is the only one that can set us free. Please, if you, if I'm just... Go buy the book. I'm not getting profits from it. I'm not getting kudos. Not. Go read the story of Norma McCorvey, Jane Rowe, and let it change your life. And if you're pro-abortion, you think these tears are fake, I don't care. <laughs> Go read it. I dare you. 
if you're so committed to this cause, at least read the person that supposedly founded this movement, or the person that supposedly that it's built on. Go read the story, and then you make up your own mind and see if <laughs> see if you're one by love. <laughs> Jesus loves you. He died for all of our sins, and he loves you today. Never forget.